Okay, continuing with our stuck inside Nijia exercise series, the second half of Shangji's eight, Ma, Shingi Master Shangji's eight Taiji or Nijia ball exercises. So we, the, la, the previous, the fourth exercise, we were going through this motion. And now we're going to add a doubling. So we come around on the elbow, double back on the inside of the elbow, and then the other arm. Come back over with the elbow, double back on the inside, and that takes us to the other side. So you can make that very extreme, or you can just make it more subtle, where it's just the inner arm touching before we come back. Obviously you could triple it if you forget to come around. <laughs> you can do it as many as you want. All right, the next one reverses that action. So now we're coming out almost like splitting or like an offering hand, like the old monk posture in Bagua, where we're coming out with the hand and reversing the other way. Or like P, splitting. Again, use the body action to make the movements. The next one is a little bit like a snake body exercise. We're going to roll it on the inside of our arms using a movement of the waist. Not so much the hips. The hips are pretty still. And we try and use our hands to the minimum, or our palms to the minimum. You can turn with it. Or you can just do it to the front. And that sets us up for the final exercise where we're going to turn the ball over like hiding flower under leaf and walk a circle and then turn the ball and walk a circle. Turn the ball, walk a circle. Which is relatively simple compared to some of the others. But when we add them together, it gives us a dynamic where we can move into Bagua and Shini maneuvers or maneuvers like a black, black dragon waves its tail and take them into a hiding flower under leaf, or even out to push the palms out like we're going to walk a circle in millstone or pushing the mountain, but taking it back in again. Or we can play with it like a tai chi motion, where we're rolling back and pressing. Or a shingy motion, where it's like splitting or drilling and gathering and drilling, gathering and splitting. So it's kind of up to you. Once you have the eight patterns, they can be combined with footwork almost any way you want. And that, that gives you something to play with at home. That starts to develop this roundness inside, and it's very nice to do your forms right after playing with the ball. So have fun. Enjoy. <laughs>